So everything seems to be working quite well though, doesn't it? What, like just going from the Intel platform to the AMD one, it does work. It works well. It's actually fantastic, but it's like, I always got to dick around with some settings and shit, man. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a good way to... It works, though, clearly. Like, it works just fine. All the audio levels are the same. Camera streaming, the capture cards. Like, I'm using the, the two capture cards right now with the daughter board and all that shit. No problems. My chipset temperatures are quite fucking hot, though. I don't like that. I wish I... um, I wish... You know what's you know what's funny? I, I I can't remember if this was in the course or not, but I told the gods long time ago. I was like, whenever you get a brand new motherboard, just take the fucking chipset heat sinks off and redo it, because like fifty percent of the time the chipset temperatures are fucked. That was especially bad on Z seven ninety, right? And Z six ninety. And I didn't even take my, I didn't take my own advice and I forgot to do it. Lo and behold, now my chipset is at fucking 78 Celsius on both chipset temperatures on the, on the pro art mother. I should have taken it up. Dude, I don't know why that's the case. Pro, so yeah, pro tip. When you buy a new motherboard, take the chipset heat sinks off and repad that shit. How fast does Steam open? Yeah, that's that's that that's what I'm talking about. There's like okay, so the 9950X, it's like I I understand I understand why people don't understand what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, Ida still opens like fucking slow as shit. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but it doesn't matter like it uh, like so so here's the thing it's like so when i built when i when i installed the 9950x workstation and i mirrored the drive and i was just using windows i was like it, it's it's like it it feels like um like a 4790k like has well like it's fine like it's good like like it's not like it's like it's something you would literally only notice if you had like a fucking six gigahertz locked all core raptor lake only then and then it's like and now that i've been using it for a week i don't notice any of that stuff anymore it's like my brain acclimated to it so now if I if I go open a window and it takes 0 0.2 milliseconds longer to open, I don't notice it anymore. That's the thing. So it's like it's like it's it's like a, it's like the air conditioning example. It's like once you've experienced air conditioning, you can't go back. But if you just if you get rid of your air conditioning for a year, you forget what air conditioning felt like and then like the, the, the human brain will renormalize the new normal, right? So like when when people are like, um, then this is not for the 3D chips, the, the the 3D chips. No, those fucking lag it like that's noticeable. I'm talking this is like milliseconds slower. It's not that big of a deal, right? So like for, for this one, the the uh, pros far outweigh the cons, right? So like if a, like if the window like look at this right now so the the C, this the CPU right now is pulling 108 watts CPU encoding the stream and it's at 64 Celsius with the PTM and like the heat spreader and all that shit right so 64 Celsius 108 watts I think the 14900K, what was that? 165 watts or something or 170 watts CPU encoding. And that shit was at like 70 Celsius with direct die, right? So it's like, they're, they're like, 
it's like there's pros and cons right the, the the camera thing was really worrying me for a second because if that didn't work then i would have get off this platform but now that it does work um i have no it's it's, it's better it's better for workstation right if you just if you just so again now i understand why people are like jufus is out of his fucking mind because if they've if they're coming from like a 3700x or a 5800x 3d so if, if they're if you're go if you're already on an am4 platform and you upgrade to am5 the dip is gonna feel the same or it's gonna be snappier so so in your mind you don't know that it's dippy because you never had the intel one right if you but again somebody somebody needs to do this at ces or computex or whatever just put both of them side by side if if somebody actually had both rigs side by side you would 100 percent i won't say a hundred percent i'll say like people that play esports will be able to tell but if you ask yourself what's the goal it's not that big of a deal it's not that big of a deal so what if a if so what if a windows takes half a second to open longer who cares right if everything else is better right now i haven't tested arrow lake thoroughly yet i might still give that a shot that might be the winner I think it probably will be though but at least i gave the 9950x a good shot right the, the ptm performs well it just performs just like paste so so he, here's the thing i don't see why you wouldn't use ptm there's there's been no temperature improvement from when i first put that thing on to after a bunch of heat cycles i don't i don't think the heat cycle thing is uh is that serious it's one of those it's not that serious type of things honestly even if there was a one celsius improvement i wouldn't have noticed so i wouldn't worry about that with the ptm shit right but i think the 5090 is gonna be that that line in the sand where a lot of people are finally going to give up on pc gaming not because of the price of the 5090 but because how fast it's going to sell out at that price and i think people are going to be like this isn't for me anymore and i you might see like very high playstation sales after that i think so man the 3090 was a shock to people people kind of got over it the 4090 wasn't really a shock for the performance that you got for it but i think the 5090 is going to shock people dude i think it will